Okay, so this is the final update on the uh, Palm Harbor house. Still got my pod. My neighbor's still using my RV. She's been using that for the last two months. Okay, so I had uh, four feet of water on the outside, one foot on the inside. The only reason why I got the water on the inside was the crack. So inside, I had to replace all the sheetrock, I mean, uh, two feet of sheetrock along the bottom and uh, all the molding, all the doors, all the door handles, and uh, that's it. So the only thing I got left is like this closet door. I want to make sure Ingrid likes it before I put it up. And uh, in here, she has a mirrored door for this one. Uh, so I want to see if she still likes that one or we get a different one. Still have to put some covers on, clean them up a little bit around there. She's already bought a sofa, which is what's here. This other thing is the only other big thing I still have to do is put a vanity in the bathroom. Um, we ordered this one, but it was ridiculously, all the drawers are all crooked. So didn't want that. Plus it's not even wood. It's made out of uh, that garbage. And uh, this was not a cheap one, it was expensive. So that's going back. The kitchen, I was not, I, I was able to save everything in the kitchen. Uh, what I did is I put these holes uh, in the, in the, uh, in the walls and in all the cabinets underneath in through the wall to dry it out in the back. Uh, I did have to replace the refrigerator and the dishwasher so they knew the stove is, st still works, but I have that in the pod right now. The only thing I have to do on the inside now it, it, with uh, the windows is this window right here. This is the only window that the seal went on it when the water, the water came up about a foot and a half above the window up here and uh, it stayed dry. So the house right now, if I were to get another storm, I think if I taped up those doors, I'm sure that this house will stay dry if I got in, if we had another storm. Um, okay, so coming out of all those doors and stuff, that's all my returns to the Home Depot. <coughs> okay, so back here, uh, this is the laundry room. Washer and dryer still have to be replaced. The only thing I did in here is change the wall out because that got wet so got a new wall there and now we're gonna have to paint this but uh i'm not sure when i'm gonna do that so right now that's why i'm saying that this is over for now that is uh for the laundry room back here <coughs> the bogan villa that's that red plant there that came back but we had these other two plants, which I forgot the name of them, but they're, whatever they were poisonous, they were nice flowers, plants though, they're dead. That sad looking thing there is uh, birds of paradise, which don't look too good. And all the hedge bushes are all dead. So I'm glad, I'm glad uh, these survived. Let's see them. That's the the ones that are outside my windows and covering up the air conditioner. So uh, those all survive, which is good. But the rest of them, we're probably gonna have to replace all of these. Look dead. What's surprising is there's a little bit of growth going on this one. So maybe they come back. And these two, I'm surprised, have some growth. So. I'll give it time. Maybe it'll come back.
So I finished this house with my friend, uh, which I think I think he worked about 110 hours. So it's almost three weeks to do this work. So three weeks for him and three weeks for me. And of course I did a lot of extra stuff, but for the construction itself, that's, that's about it. So it really looked worse than it actually is. It's um, never as bad as it seems. And cost-wise, I think I got this done for less than what my deductible would have been if I had insurance, which I don't have insurance. But, uh, you know, well, of course, unless the sofa that we threw out was a 10-year-old sofa, maybe that was, you know, something special, and maybe that was worth $8,000 or something, which it wasn't. But, uh, yeah, I had talked about Ingrid. I said most of the stuff that we lost was stuff that the kids would have to get rid of when we croak anyway. So uh, I think it was all good. And we got upgrades. We got new moldings, we got fancy new doors, fancy new hardware. Oh, and, and the floor. So you can see the shine on the floor, it's hard to see, but these are terrazzo floors. And they haven't been cleaned probably since 1960. So I had them come in here and uh, put in all new, uh, not put in the floors, so I just clean these floors. They sand them down. So uh, they did a pretty good job. Um, okay, that's about it. Uh, now it's time to uh, get a haircut. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.